dude, I think somebody needs to take my credit card away from me because Why? I've been going hard on the eBay. Yeah, steel it's, books. we've seen your pickups in the Discord. It's pretty it's fucking really, extreme. It's bad. I'm so addicted to the steel yeah. books. But it's only because this other dude keeps outbidding me right. on, on the Kubrick steel books, and yeah. he keeps racking it up to like nine or eight hundred thousand dollars, and I have to have it. So it's like, yeah. I'm sorry, did what, you say nine hundred dollars? Yeah. I have to have it. That's how bid wars work. You know, they you yeah, you go back and forth. Typically, if someone's bidding that much, you shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, I try to outbid them. Yeah, by that much. Like Josh, bid- like I see Josh is putting down bids. Right. Yeah, but I mean, no, it's no, no, I'm not. What do you mean? Nothing. What are you talking about? We were, you know, you got to pick you just your point. You no, point no, no, no. to his iPad. And yeah, because he's doing something else. He's, he's like, getting ready for the show. Yeah, he's just doing another different thing that I can't think of right now. Because I definitely was not on eBay though. You're right. But, you know, you got to pick your battles. And so maybe picking a battle where you well, have... I just got an alert. I've been outbid. What did you just fucking do? I mean, Chris, you shouldn't be... You shouldn't be bidding that much. It's just a bad idea. It's and a steel book. Listen. And then in hindsight, other people... There may be somebody out there that wants you to spend a whole lot of money to ruin your life. Yeah, that would be not Okay, cool. so hypothetically... Hypothetically, someone could possibly be doing that to you. And is doing it on purpose. And, so and hypothetically, maybe just don't fall for it, right? That could yeah, have, it's that kind of could. on you. What's your fucking username on eBay? Two thousand one Gorilla Man five thousand. So, no, 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 dude, no, no, dude. No. Cancel the bid, fucker. Cancel the fucking bid. Cancel the fucking bid, dude. He gets well, a water. You're a fucking asshole. He wants. He wants the fucking water. You want no? You want the water? Cancel the fucking bid. Oh fuck! All right. I'm sorry. He just accepted my offer. Nine fifty. <laughs> Every fucking week, new movies get released. How does anyone ever see these? There are too many movies. Hey, let's go. Welcome to There Are Too Many Movies, family. Hello. This week on There Are Too Many Movies, we watch The Gray Man. But before we talk about The Gray Man, we're going to talk about what we've been watching. I'm Chris Collins. I'm Josh. Well, you do and I do the fucking horn, man. Yeah, you do. You interrupt Maybe me Maybe don't every talk time. during the horn. Okay, well, let me do it one more time. Okay. Not, oh, my I'm not, God. No, I'm not starting were... all the way over. No, no, no. Just that I'm Chris. Well, I'm now Chris you Con- introduced him, so now he doesn't even oh. have to introduce okay, himself. Okay, well, I'm going to try it again. No one interrupt me. I'm Chris. Okay, ready? Three, two, two. Wait, no, you don't hit. You don't say one. Hey, I'm Al. Uh, I'm- Alex, hold on. I go first always. Well. Three, two. Go. I'm Chris Collins. I'm Josh Rodriguez. I'm Alex Dr. Fat Cock <laughs> Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to say that so long ever since that TikTok comment. <laughs> Wait, what TikTok comment? You, you haven't t- seen that? No, what? <laughs> it's one of the videos. Uh, one of the comments says, My boys, Josh the Body Rodriguez, Alex Dr. Fat Cock Wilshire. <laughs> and then I don't remember yours. That was a TikTok comment? <laughs> yeah. I missed that one. Okay. And Chris the editor Collins. Yeah. And Chris, who gives a fuck Collins? Um, who wants to kick it off this week on The Wizard? The Watch List. Um, not me. Okay. Yeah, not me either. I did it first last time. Yeah. All right. I and went I, first and last time. I did time. the one before no. that. Okay. I did. I went first. All right. Fine. I'll go first. So you're due. For, yeah. All right. So like, I wa- it's on you now. Like to do the first. One. I got it. Three like, for the watch list. Okay. Though. Ready. Three, two. Watch list. Fear Street trilogy. What the fucking oh, my shit? Fucking what? God, that was crisp. <sighs> what? What flavor is that? White peach. White peach. You know what? I'm actually glad you interrupted me with the Zoa, because we forgot to mention up front. Five bucks a month on Patreon. Bonus oh, ep- shit. Bonus episodes. Ask. <laughs> I just puke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Accent. Covered up with a cough. <laughs> <laughs> puking into my shirt. Yeah. <laughs> you no know, puking into a rag. Yeah. <laughs> That's do, how you do it. Do you guys like how TikTok? 
Well, first of all, it flopped on TikTok, but the story about me shitting my pants in movie theater and effectively being waterboarded by my mom with my own puke. Yeah. Didn't do so well on the internet for didn't some reason. Great. Yeah. Didn't do great. I thought it was a good story. I had a moral. Who else has that kind of story? I got waterboarded with my own puke. It's you, but- Gigi Allen, and the prisoners at Abu Ghraib. Oh, yeah. Patreon, five bucks a month. Five bucks a month for bonus episodes, access to the Discord. Feet content. Yeah. Feet content. It's only Taint on Patreon. Content. Yeah. Um, five bucks a month on Patreon will get you access to all those goodies. Please help support your local on the internet podcast, Hollywood's unofficial podcast. Become part of the Bong Joon Bros, the Criterion Collective. Oh, fuck. The A24 Boys and Gals. The Zoa Z- Zulu. The Zoa Trope Zoas. Zoa Zoomers. Zoa Zoomers. That's better. But we're not them. But yeah. we, we'll just, let's just start. We are Zoomers now. Like, we're, sure. not, we're not millennials. The Steelbook Studs. Ooh. Steelbook Stands. Stands. Maybe? Steelbook Ste- Stands. Steelbook Stands. Yeah. Oh, fucking Steelbook Stands. Steelbook Sluts. The Kubrick yeah. cunts, dude. <laughs> <laughs> With a K. Yeah. yeah of course. That's, yeah, that's about right. Um, I mean it in the British way where it's fine to say it all the cunts. time. Yeah, exactly. You fucking Kubrick cunts. All well, right. Not, not very good. That, no, that's... That doesn't have quite as much of a ring to it. Back to my watch list, shall we? Yeah. The Fear Street Trilogy. The whole trilogy, all huh? All three of them. R.L. Stein, BB. Yeah, which Classic. I didn't even know until the end. Yeah. I've only ever read Goosebumps from him. Like, uh, ever. What else has he done? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's R.L. Stein. Yeah. I mean, the fact that he's named R.L. Stein and writes... It's a... It's a pit nom de guerre. Yeah. What do you mean? A pen name. That's a big word you just said. It's, it's three words. That's his real fucking name, though. It's R.L. Stein. No, no it not. isn't. Yeah, it is, dude. Alexa, what is R.L. Stein's real name? R.L. Stein. R.L. Stein's birth name is Robert Lawrence Stein. And he Holy was shit. It is R.L. fucking R.L. Stein. You didn't even know until just now. <laughs> no, I you did. You definitely made that up. You definitely made that up. I didn't know what the... You just said all chips on this bluff. <laughs> yeah. And you, it paid off for it you. It paid off. This time. This is how it I win. It wasn't even But I bluff. see through you. This is how I win, guys. A, uh, fair. Doof. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, I also watched the Fox first Julia Fox. Though. What? Hell yeah, dude! Yeah, great yeah. actress. Worth dying. <laughs> <laughs> Fear Street trilogy. How was it? Um, I enjoyed all of it. It's very fun. Nice. I will say I liked them in in this order the most. The second one, the first one, and then the third one was my least favorite. Is the third one ninety seven? Third one is sixteen sixty six. Yeesh. Shit. Is that supposed to be like Roanoke or something? They'd be going back to the origins of the curse. Okay, so what? which one is the 97 one? 94, 94. I believe. Uh-huh. And that's the first one. And then it's 1960 or 70. Or I feel like I would like the first one a lot more. I don't know. I, I, thought, lo- I thought I was going to be a 90s. Dude. I thought I was going to be a 90s boy too because I'm a 90s boy. But... Eight are you 90s. i'm i'm only nine and you know i'm, I'm only nine i'm only 90 <laughs> <laughs> i'm from the I'm 90s just a widow boy i'm just a widow bo- <laughs> little shitty witty boy uh let's do some role play honey i'm just a widow boy <laughs> <laughs> let's do a role play when you're 10 i shit and puke in the movie theater um no uh i thought i would like 94 the most okay and i i preferred the uh the second one which is i think in the 70s because it takes place at like a sleepaway summer camp which is like the the quintessential slasher vibe you know yeah sleepaway camp vibes yeah yeah Yeah. it was it was great my uh a lot of fun i would say my only complaint is uh it was like a top 40 in the club type of situation with all the mainstream music. Oh, the soundtrack is very... Yes, and I want to say... Of this time? Best no. of 94 okay. playlist. Yes. Okay, but right. it switches Spotify. up almost every 10, 20 seconds. Uh, so where it's, it's like, like music what? Remember video? this? It's what, it does feel like that So like times. Suicide Squad? A little bit. Yikes. That was my only complaint where it was like... Bandolero! Bandolero! Uh, fucking it was slow you ride. Dude. Anytime you have CCR in your movie and you're not Apocalypse Now, fuck yourself. Facts. It's almost like if you make a movie in Vietnam, it's a required thing. Yeah. It's like, like contractual I'd for be, him. I, I couldn't listen to CCR unless there was a helicopter also going at yeah, the same right. time. <laughs> yeah, you, you need the sound effect. And I'll edit that in. Of course. Well, future Chris will edit that in. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Shout out to future Chris. Thanks. Oh, hey, guys. <laughs> but fuck you, too. Like, Whoa. Hey, man. Be nice to future Chris. Okay. Sorry. He's doing Thanks. A- uh-huh. That's more like it. He's doing a lot of work. Cool. Thank you. 
That was kind of a jerk way of saying thanks, man. No, it was authentic. Okay. That's how I always say thanks. Oh, okay. sarcastic. Like if you like do something for me. Here you go, man. You want some Zoa? Yeah. Thanks. Why did why did you say it like that? That's I'm being authentic. All right. That's I, that sounds so good. You want some? Some Zoa? No, I'm all right. Thank you, though. It's good. At fucking 7 p.m., I'm okay. I got to do the podcast, man. What do you want from me? Yeah, okay. what the hell? All right. We have contractual contractual obligations to drink Zoa during the Shout podcast. Shout out to Zoa, yeah. sponsored the podcast. Make sure the label's way. facing out. Yeah. I did. Thank you. Fuck you, man. That way, The Rock can keep giving us no money. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but if we don't put the label out, he's not paying us, <clears> but he's just not beating us up. True, yeah. So if we he don't... the shit out of me last week. Yeah. he Because like, he didn't have the logo facing Like, camera. everyone thinks The Rock is such a nice guy. He kicked me in the stomach until I threw up. And then I cried, and he said, shut up. That's fucked up, dude. That's so, aggressive. The Rock's not as cool as you might think. Damn. You heard it here first on the Too Many Movies podcast. And that's a true fact. He did that to me. Fear Street Trilogy is pretty good. Mm. It's fun. Yeah. Yep. I check it out. It's on Netflix. Um, I also checked out another Netflix horror movie. It was a TikTok recommend. Ugh. Oh, the people were hyping this up like nightmares. Oh my god. Uh, nightmare, this, nightmare, uh, nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Yeah. Nightmare, 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 nightmare. Everybody was like, "Have you guys seen that one scene in Incantation? It's hard to watch." Like everybody was like, "I ran into a few." Yeah, I was like, okay, I'll check out Incantation. I saw Incantation. You did? It's, it, yeah, I, I'm not a big fan of the animated films, but I feel like that one animated. is probably the least scary. It is a pretty cool like musical, though. Let me stop it is. Right it it is good music. Good, at, good as a musical. Yeah. Are we talking about the same thing? Yeah. First well, Incantation. Yeah. yeah. The, the Pixar film. It's not very scary though. It's actually it's Disney. Actually, it's not Pixar this time. Oh, sorry. But it's a really good musical, and it's like uh, I love the Bruno song. Okay. Yeah. I, I love the. So you're talking about? Are you talking about a horror, a horror movie? Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, Pixar? I mean, I guess you could see it as a yeah. horror movie. You might, you may, yeah. I would say it falls in the subgenre of horror. Yeah, PG. It's like body horror, even. Yeah. So everybody on TikTok's terrified by a Pixar movie. Yeah, Disney, but yeah, Incantation, right? <clears throat> it's actually. I think you're thinking of Encanto. It's about a rat that takes a balloon house to like a chef's hat. You guys are. This is not the movie. What are you guys talking about? It's where monsters scare children <laughs> for energy. What? That's not it. That's incantation. No, dude. it's not. Oh, okay. Do you think the sex the <laughs> okay. sex toys are alive in Toy Story? Damn. That's a good question, actually. I mean, it's worth asking. That's a really good point. Yeah. Uh voters of this next election write into Pixar and ask them if the sex toys are also alive. By the universe's rules, they have to be. They literally have to. So the beads just gliding around. Do you think they just like like a snake? Just, like, can they breathe? You know, are they like like the whole time? You know, hmm. I'm sure you can. They probably it's, breathe out of the base. That, anatomically, that's yeah where you would breathe. Would yeah, putting a lot I guess of it was thought a, into this. Yeah. <laughs> How was the, incantation? Incantation, the real one, not the one you're talking about. The Netflix horror movie. It's a found footage film, <clears> which. Meh as fuck. I don't know what they were talking about. Really? Well, it's TikTok and they're children. Apparently, they're soft as shit. They, I watched that and I was like, eh, it's fine. It's kind of a fun movie. But Hey, watch a Serbian film, uh, kids. Yes. Or consequently, don't do that. Just yeah. don't do it instead. Yeah. Yeah, don't <laughs> don't do that. Yeah. Uh, that's more of a challenge than but it was. Yeah, it is. It, it wasn't even scary. I mean, it was a found footage movie. It had some fun jump scares uh -huh. or like some interesting. But I think after this one... I'm done with found footage. They're just never, they never unique. Hit. They're never unique. They have to, they're, unfortunately, they're grounded within the rules of being found footage. So it has to be handheld. It has to be a continuous shot most of the time. They have to like motivate cuts <clears throat> or it has to be a security camera or something that's motivated. Right. So it's like either them filming or they set up a camera or a GoPro or something and, or, or it's a laptop. It's I'm, just too much. Is this a boring watch list for you? Mm. Yawning heavily? Typically mm. is. I need to drink more Zoa. Apparently. Label out. Yeah. Label out. Label out. Turn it. Turn it. I can't drink it with the label out, but I always turn it back. I promise. You can't drink it with the label out. I, like, I feel like I like hear physics. the Rock's theme song. No, man. I can't drink it with the label out. I can't. No!
But yeah, uh, Incantation was fine. It's right. just, but I'm done with found footage, dude, because they're just, they're never unique. It feels like they entirely rely on like word of mouth to carry its reputation. I don't know what all those softies on TikTok were talking about. That shit was mid. People, they're fucking children that dance for a living. Dude, dude, yeah, the people on TikTok will literally be like, I just saw Scream. Now, this is a retro movie. I'm like, mm. bit, what? Fuck. <laughs> that terrified the fuck out of me when I was little. Yeah, spooky the, scary. They yeah. killed Drew Barrymore in the first five minutes of the first, movie. Yeah. The way she died is so tragic. Yeah. Yeah. And even fucking Rose McGowan. I remember that really fucking with me. Fucking great. How like dude. they were like it, right there. It'll be like the most random shit from a movie in your childhood that sticks with you. Like yeah. the, fir- the first time you see someone get like, f- like it scarred me in Austin Powers whenever Michael McDonald's character got rolled over by the, <laughs> by the roller. I was yeah. like, why doesn't he move? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's good. Yeah. One. It was a little dark. Yeah. I remember that too. Um, another thing I watched, um, <clears throat> one thing that really terrified me when I was a kid is uh, from Dust Till Dawn, whenever they switch oh, yeah. to vampires. And you're like, what if they're Among Us? Dude, but <laughs> the band, oh, my the lead God. singer of the band is playing a fucking corpse. A corpse. That freaked me the fuck out. I could not fall asleep. Like, I straight up could not fall asleep. That's so funny. Because I was picturing the guy playing a guitar, but it's a fucking, cor- it's a torso. Yeah. It's like, Whoa. Would you watch it now? Did you see those Spider-Man re- reflexes, by the way? That's pretty good. I, you for the, it by for, the top, so it's not like the fastest yeah. reflex. Whatever, dude. You're just jealous I did that because you're well, the I Spider-Man person and you're just mad that I... I am the Spider-Man person. You are. The, <laughs> the Spider-Man stand. <laughs> you, the spider you didn't stand. wear your shirt today, but you have a shirt that says the Spider-Man person. That's true. And I did write that in uh, like cheerleader glitter glue. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Red and uh, blue. Yeah. 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 But anyways... Uh, when did you see From Dust Till Dawn? Oh, I was a baby. I was a kid. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Literally yeah. three days old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Dude. I mean, I don't know when it came out, but I, I mean, I know I saw it on television and freaked me the fuck out. Yeah. I don't know if I've told this story before, but have I, guys? <sighs> Jesus Christ. Rewind. Fucking future Chris. Edit that out. Just do it. All right. So. Asshole. Easy. When I saw The Ring. I lost months of sleep, dude. Yeah, that dude. one was scary. I, and I, I was remember a kid. your first your video edit of the ring. You remember that? Chris, future Chris, just fucking Further do it. On. I know you don't want to do it, but here's where you put in your fucking. Yeah. Okay, my TV's leaking. Is that normal? That's seriously out of the ordinary. I gave you seven days and you didn't do it, so I'm gonna have to come out of TV now. Oh man! Oh, coming out of TV, coming old. Oh. Oh my god! Coming out of the TV. It's not all oh, wet floor. You're all wet, and I got the wood floors, and it's not. This is this is all kinds of uncomfortable for me. Look at this. I'm so wet. This is disgusting, isn't it? Your skin is nasty. Hey, be careful getting up, because I got a lot of valuable stuff on the shelf. Oh, the shelf! Oh no! God, I'm bleeding. Living in the well is harder than you think. Living off your own feces. Oh, you're seriously wrecking my world right now. I don't even understand. Look at how much you're peeing all over my floor. I mean, come on, just don't you ever you heard of a bathroom, girl? It's a, oh, you're gonna be ugly, aren't you? Yeah, so Look at my face. Yeah, I was right. You're ugly. Dude, I got a VHS of Ringu, the original Japanese ring, at a convention with my dad in like 2000, 2001 or some shit like that. Had no idea what it even was, and it's like probably the most scared I've been after a yeah. horror movie. Yeah, so I think I might have told this story on the pod before, but so there was a time where I was legit haunted. I had to sleep with the lights on for a little while. I would have to go to bed with a light of some kind, like a TV or like mm. something. Like I had like a little portable media player, something to like watch stuff. Sure. I was just getting over <clears throat> all of it. So I went to fall asleep. Sometime in the middle of the night, I slowly wake up and I'm like, oh. and I look at the foot of my bed and all I see is this silhouette <laughs> of what looks like the ring girl standing yeah. at the foot of my fucking bed. And this is just look at my face. <laughs> yeah, this is like right off the cusp of getting over this t- like trauma fear of yeah. the ring girl. And Samara is at the foot of my fucking bed. And when I tell you the fear, like people describe being frozen in fear, that's a real thing. Yeah. yeah. I hadn't felt that until that moment. I saw her in like a, you know, sleepy like like a half stupor. A, yeah like half awake like what the f- and my pupils probably dilated to the size of quarters and i remember shooting up to my headboard like sitting up 
and just staring at it, not like trying to figure out if it was real. Yeah. 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 Just going and just waiting for my eyes to adjust to the light. Oh. And like while the room slowly started to come into vision, like like my pupils like slowly like brought the darks up and whatever. Like it was a shirt hanging on a bedpost. <laughs> but it it wasn't there when I went to sleep. What had happened was my dad had came in to like say goodnight or whatever and I was already passed out and there was a shirt on the floor and he just like, oh, that's weird. Hung it up uh, and left and had nothing, had no idea what he had done. And killed his son with a heart attack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I woke up, you know, I don't even know how old I was at the time, but uh, dude, yeah, I woke up and just fucking the fear I actually felt, I was legit paralyzed. I bet, yeah. yeah. Like I just was just staring at it. Uh -huh. Like couldn't move. Waiting for it to move. Right. Trying to figure it out if it was real. It wasn't real. Turns out. Turns out it wasn't real. Turns out it was a t-shirt. Well, you sound like a little bitch. Yeah. Whatever, kind of a dude. bad story. Yeah. Kind like, of a terrible story. Yeah. I enjoyed it. I'll add, well, future Chris, we'll add like horror movie sound effects on it. And, like, okay. A little bit of like some tension. Like that. Yeah. yeah just like, like just that. isolate that and play it over. Okay. Yeah. One more time. <clears throat> clean audio. <throat> Ready? Ooh. I'm not going to do it now. You just look dumb. Was, Get <laughs> fucked. I was doing Pac-Man. <laughs> no, Pac-Man is... That's perfect. Thanks. Just kidding. And that, that was, was practical. The end was bad. Yeah. No, that's even worse. No. Yeah. One, two, three. No. Okay, well, then you do a better Pac-Man, practically. Impractical Joker. Okay, so go ahead. Uh, hold, on, hold on. Let me try it again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me count you in. Three, two. <laughs> so, Whoa. that that uh, MP3 ringtone is available on our Patreon <laughs> as only on Patreon as a NFT. Go to crazyfrog.com. <laughs> <laughs> and then you can find the e ring back, world com. find the ringback tone on newgrounds.com page five all right so let's get through my fucking watch list uh first man uh, mm. uh um ryan yeah, we, gosling yeah we went to check this one out did you like this movie i never saw it oh okay okay we had a theory that maybe you you would like it we thought somebody liked it um Oof. Yeah, so Josh and I tried to watch it. You own it. You blind bought it. Yeah, because I was like, it's fucking Damien Chazelle. Yeah, director of Whiplash, La La Land. Ooh. Ryan Gosling. Yeah. Claire Foy, who I'm a big fan of. Great actress, dude. Great actress. It's weird. It didn't see, feel like a Damien Chazelle, Chazelle movie at all. Well, the, dude, the fucking intro is great. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. And the way Damien Chazelle mm -hmm. decides to shoot all of the space scenes are from within the cockpit, and there's no, like... There are no um, exterior shots. There's no so wides. it's very claustrophobic. Which no played, wides. Yeah, but it plays into how stupid the rockets program was in the '60s. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's like a fucking graphite. It's just graphs. Yeah, it's not even computer. Like, they didn't yeah. even have <laughs> Texas Instrument calculators. Yeah, they're just point. sending people up there in a fucking lipstick tube. You know, just like yeah, I yeah. guess it's gonna be fine. But like it, the cool intimacy that he chose to do all those space scenes, where yeah. it's like it just show. It's like the sound design is just metal rattling and shit. Where yeah. it's like this yeah. is. It feels like I'm in a fucking tin can. How I mean, you're literally being low, like just propellant in a tin fucking metal. Fuck, like see what happens. We're just we gotta beat the Russians. Yeah, like and. While that sounds cool, and it is cool, dude, fucking, that is probably, we didn't even get, we didn't get to finish it, dude. Didn't even like it that much? We bailed. We bailed. Yeah. It was, that's 25% of the movie, and the rest is fucking, like, Neil Armstrong's family life. Don't go to space, wah. What do you want me to My do? kids. You know, it's that whole, it's exactly what you expect. And then Buzz Aldrin, like, punching people out. <laughs> yeah. Really? Kinda, yeah. Yeah, yeah kind of. <laughs> it's it's exactly what you expect, like, where it's like, don't leave me. And then it they follows went to the family, like, I worry too. They straight up went to three different funerals in the first, like, 15, 20 minutes of the movie. It is to illustrate how incompetent hour, the but. fucking NASA program was. Absolutely. But that, it's like, but I don't like, give a fuck about any of that. Just go to space, dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just show me the space. This Oscar winning movie that we just like, go to we, space. We, we just really weren't feeling it. No, not it's at all. weird. It was boring. I was a fucking Nini. I was falling asleep during the movie. Yeah. Um, The space stuff was cool. <clears> everything <throat> else. Big time. No. Yep. And I get why it's not like brought up. 
totally you know? forgettable. It was forgettable. I, I mean, I forgot it existed until you just now brought it up. I enjoyed Ad Astra more than I enjoyed First Man. That was a good movie. Ugh. I thought it was good. <sighs> Whatever. Um, I liked it. It's a, it's fine. That fucking moon scene, dude. The moon fight. Dude, scene. that intro with the fucking just, ladder to heaven. Jesus, that was cool. The fucking moon race scene. Come on, Fast and the Furious. That felt like so out of place. Oh no, I loved no, it. it was, no music. It was good execution. Yeah, yeah, it felt real and grounded to me. Uh, <laughs> There's like that's your Astra. argument, and here's mine. <laughs> uh, the grounded realism of the the soundless chasing on the duh duh <laughs> fart in your face. Fuck Yo, that. It's fucking Ad Astra, <clears throat> Interstellar, 2001, Space Odyssey. Ad Astra, 2001, then Space. <laughs> I can't even. No, I'm joking. Gravity, though. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> um, grab no fuck gravity. That's your favorite movie. That's not my fucking favorite movie. I'm I get that we do a bit sometimes. You guys can't do bits on me, all right? <laughs> we have a lot of favorite movies. I can dish it out. I will not take it. <laughs> <laughs> we have a lot of favorite I movies. I refuse, okay? <laughs> yeah. Just no and. Uh, it's, it, you know no, butted, thank you. You know but that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, we bailed. Fucking yeah. big snoozies. Yeesh. So that I wouldn't recommend First Man, if I'm being honest, even though I loved Whiplash. More like Last Lady. First Man, more like Fuck This Man. <laughs> oh, shit. That Dude. joke is available as an NFT on that our Patreon. Was fucking wild. Opening bid, twenty five k. Fair. Yeah, for that for that joke. A million. Yeah, that's solid. That's a really good joke, dude. That is. That, I mean, I'll open with that if I ever do stand yeah. up. If you ever have to do like an hour, like a stand up hour, <coughs> hour, and you sell <coughs> it to Netflix, mm -hmm. just do that joke. Yeah. for like an hour. We have someone calling in to let us know how good that joke was. You oh, ready? Shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Oh fuck! Hold on one second. Hey, it's me, Rodney Dangerfield. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, just wanted to say that was a great joke. I get no respect. Thank you for calling, Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, fuck you, motherfucker. Damn. Fucking he hung up on us. That was weird. That was kind of cool to, He's for him to... He's dead, though. That's the craziest part. That, that, mm -mm, that was a hoax. Like, oh. The caller ID said Rodney Dangerfield. Or as our, our friend says, a hoax. A yeah. hoax. Yeah. Correct. Well, that's, thank you for listening to There Are Too Many Movies, the only podcast that can... Contact Ronnie Dangerfield from the grave. From yeah. beyond the grave. It's a Ouija iPad, so yeah, it makes calls. It can call anyone, living or dead, if they're Hollywood or entertainment related. Call Frederick Douglass. I don't know who no, that don't is. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, don't call him. <laughs> I'm not going to do that impression. <laughs> it has every number in it. So. Yeah, fair Any enough. Anyways, um, we're still not through my shit. I'm done. <clears throat> okay. okay. No, I'm not. Psych. Oh! Get fucking juked. Criterion Collection. Oh, oh shit. Fucking God. As a Criterion Collective <sighs> member, Josh let me borrow a little film called Sex, Lies, and Videotape. Mm. Let's fucking go, BB. Directed by Steven Soderbergh. This fucking movie, Chris. I just brought it up last week, but I, I want to hear your, your thoughts. I enjoyed it. I will say it wasn't as raunchy as I thought it would be. No, it's not. With a name like Sex Lies and Videotape, not too it was raunchy. pretty mid on the, on the raunchiness. Right. Um, Do you wish it was actually on videotape instead of fuck a Blu-ray? That yeah. would have really that would have been deep. the way to watch it. That would cut deep. It's not very salacious in a in that way. No nudity yet. Spoiler, but, but no, no there's nudity. no cocks or like asses. I think it no cocks or asses. What's the fucking point? I think it nails the um the overall aesthetic of like a raunchy fucking movie. You know what I mean? Like, it, yeah. it still nails that. Like, it feels dirty feels still. Dirty. Yes. Even though it's not, like, over... Mm. Like, there are no nude scenes, I don't think. Nope. No so, nudity at all. Thoughts? Um, It didn't feel like a Soderbergh movie. So, it, I'm... And that's his first movie. Well, that's why. Okay. I was about to say, yeah. it must be, like, an early... Yeah, it's his first thing. film. Okay. Man, Rookie director. Solid first movie, but it didn't feel like it had that Soderbergh creative vision yet. No, he's developing his style for sure yeah. in that moment. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it was like, um, it was very interesting. I highly recommend it. Um, I mean, anything that's in the Criterion Collection seems to be like quintessential to the history of film in some way. Yeah. And like, whether it be a famous director's first movie or something groundbreaking and or, or in cult some following. way, it's, yeah. it's, it's historic and or a cult following of some kind. Exactly. That, that one I can get why, where it's like, okay, it's like an early Soderbergh. It's got like, it's a very simple story, but it's a very compelling characters. I mean, yes. Graham as a character who Fuck. videotapes, James Spader, who videotapes people. Yeah. Uh, it's, 
very compelling. It's very fucking so good. Andy McDowell with what a fucking killer out? performance. Uh, 97? Okay. 96, 97? Is that right? Really? Alexa, when did the movie Sex, Lies, Videotape come out? The film Sex, Lies, and Videotape was released on September 22nd, 1989. Whoa. Damn. 89, yeah. Damn, I thought it was, it was 80s. Well. It's the haircuts that made me... True. I was like, oh, those are 80s as fuck. I fucking love Andy Mandel on that. She it's very good. fucking nailed it. It's a very good movie. Check that out. Um, I'd recommend it. That's okay. it for my watch list. All righty. Um, first man got through <clears> that. <throat> Uh, all right, so I had to go and watch a classic, dude. Went back for a classic, John Carpenter's Vampires. Yeah. Do you remember this fucking movie? That's some campy shit. It is one of the campiest vampire movies you will ever fucking see. John Carpenter. One of my favorite depictions of an actual vampire ever in film. It is fucking astounding. Uh, the, the vampire in question, I didn't get the actor's name, but in the movie, his name is Valak. <laughs> and it's like Valak the vampire. Yeah. But but the the story behind him it's fucking sick. He was an ex priest that decides he wants to live forever. That's fucking because hard. he no longer believes in God, so he decides to become a fucking vampire. Dude. Reminds me of a uh, Black Mass. Yo. Or is that that's what it's called, right? So the he Netflix show? Midnight Mass. Midnight Mass. There we yeah. go. Black mm. Mass is that's the Johnny Depp. Oh, that movie. piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but that's a hard ass fucking backstory. So it he, is. He was a priest. He was a priest, and he he turns on God, he denounces God, and he like, becomes a, a vamp- vampire. That's hard, man. It's <laughs> fucking hard. Dude. What is it, dude? It's fucking hard, man. <laughs> it's fucking hard, man. Yeah. Uh, but the movie doesn't follow Valak. He is just like the bad, the baddie, you mm-hmm. know. And the movie follows. Real quick though, I'm so sorry. If you know what that's hard, man, was from, comment it below in the comment section. If you get it right, I'll we'll give him one more clean one. It's fucking hard, man. Yeah, it's so good. If you can, if you know what that's from, we have to do a fucking bonus episode on that one day. Yeah. Uh. Okay. So, valid. Okay. So the the movie follows uh James Woods. Yeah. As a vampire hunter, <laughs> and he has like a fucking gang of vampire killers. Where well, and it's vampires. It literally it. starts out with the fucking, of course, like the uh, authentic John Carpenter music, dude. And it's <clears> fucking <throat> just a guitar. Fuck yeah. Anyways, uh, it, and it just starts with them like they are like literally like a suicide squad of vampire hunters that go to nests and kill vampires and they like drag them out. It's with, fucking hard, man. With, like, <laughs> they drag them out with like ATVs and fucking. Dude. And like it's <laughs> it's like the inglorious bastards of vampires. Yeah, yeah, yeah very much so. And it's fun. It's fun and stupid. Daniel Baldwin is in it. They, they were like, "All right, we need fucking Alec Baldwin to be in this." And they're like, "Can't do it." He's, He's like, "Well, Daniel's let's like, make I can do it." Yeah. <laughs> He's like, let's do. Let's have, I'll do it. Yeah. Let's have Daniel Baldwin do an Alec Baldwin impression. Dude, for, I lose track of the Baldwin brothers. Like fucking like he was the one in in, in Usual Suspects, right? No, that's, that's William Billy. Jesus. I thought it was Steve Baldwin. Baldwin. Isn't it w- Billy Baldwin? It's Donnie Wahlberg. I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. The Doesn't one that was matter. in Biodome. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's William Baldwin, right? I don't know, honestly. I've been to the Biodome, though. It's a real place. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's cool. It's cool. Is it in Arizona? It is. I fucking but that's a it. shithole state, so it's... Like- <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, John Carpenter's Vampire yeah. is super campy and stupid, uh, but I fucking love the vampire in this. It's fucking hard. And, like, uh, how they break down, like... <sighs> He's talking about in movies, it's like they, they don't give a fuck about garlic. They don't give a fuck about this. But it's like the one thing that you do to kill them is drive a fucking stake through their heart or bring them to the sun. And like a wooden stake or is the sun? A wooden stake or the sun. That was silver though. No. The silver Wooded. bullets for a werewolf. Oh, okay. My yeah. bad. Uh, but like when they get into the sun, they do this awesome practical effect where like the body's just like psh- they fucking explode Fuck yeah. hell yeah and it's like a fucking mm. dude they, it's like they're setting off napalm it's the fucking effects for those vampires are it's so sick john what, carpenter just goes ham on effects yeah yeah what year uh that is late 90s hell yeah for sure that's the era dude it's so fun practical so effects stupid. baby there's a scene and you know spoilers whatever valak when he 
first meets like one of the vampire hunters he fucking has like these long nails and like goes through the guy's chest and goes up like this <laughs> oh, and, and, shit. It's, and the guy like splits in half Hell That's yeah. it is dope. so fucking hard dude so let me guess you own this movie now don't you? i don't own this movie this okay. is this is an amazon prime rental wow this sounds like something that you would get from arrow video dude yeah it should be yeah, honestly yeah. should be uh, check it out. It's stupid and fun and hilarious and great. Yeah. John Carpenter, they're doing like an Al- at Alma Draft House, they're doing like a John Carpenter. I think it, it might be over now. Fuck yeah. But like a month of John Carpenter shit. Dude, that would be a good director of the month. Vampires is fucking great, stupid, fun. Please check it out. It's hilarious. If nice. you just want a good, campy, fun time. John Carpenter, baby. John Carpenter, BB. <clears throat> um, trying to go through pretty quick. Uh, okay, this is a Criterion pickup. The month of July. It's oh, over yeah. now. So I got this on sale, half off, BB. Let me guess. Go ahead. Raging Bull. No, not yet. Raging I'm waiting Bull for 4K? it. Um, Election, dude. Oh, yeah. What's Election, that? starring Matthew Broderick, Reese Witherspoon. And it is one of the smartest political comedies ever that takes place in a high school. The fuck? So yeah. it's like they adapted this book about, or uh, yes, it's adapted from a book, but the writer is like a political writer but he decided to put set the book in a high school where it's like instead of a presidential election it's just a girl running for class president. class president okay but it's it has all of the same tropes that you would see in an actual political election and you can just see them extrapolated the like parallels that. are yeah it's insane and Matthew Broderick is fucking fantastic in this movie coming off of you know t- 10 15 years prior to this Ferris Bueller's Day Off. He's the coolest kid in school. Mm-hmm. And, you and he know, killed somebody with his car and then you're right. stuff for that. What? Sorry, go ahead. You, what? Were, you were talking about the movies he's been in? Yeah. So he did Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yeah. He did then fucking he killed somebody with a car and then and game. Right. Wait, what? Sorry. You're doing the filmography, right? Yeah. War, War Games. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The producers. Yep. And we're back. Go ahead. Yeah. But what was that part that you. Uh, nothing. I was oh, okay. just naming the films he's been in. Okay. Cool. Google it. Go ahead. I'm um, thinking of John Stamos. I don't think I am. There's been a lot of car murders by actors. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner. Um, anyways, no, uh, but Matthew Broderick, who did Ferris Bueller's Day Off, and he plays like the fucking coolest kid in school. Mm-hmm. This is like such a stark parallel to that, where it's like this movie takes place 20 years later, obviously, mm-hmm. and he is now like a shitty professor, much like Ben Stein, <laughs> where it's like his life has kind of gone to shit. He's just like a professor, and mm-hmm. like, you know, he has this annoying student. That is like trying so fucking hard to get what she wants. And he's like, ah, fuck that. <laughs> like, I don't want you to be the president. Yeah. Fuck you. Nice. Okay. Um, you let me borrow this. I'm excited to watch it because I haven't even heard of it. Yeah, I've never heard of it. So fucking good. Man. Okay. So good. And w- one of the best, like the characters throughout are fucking amazing. This is Chris Klein's first movie. Chris Klein from American Pie. Oh, shit. Wow. When they filmed this movie in fucking Iowa or wherever it was, he was literally going to that school and they were like, yeah, we have this part, just like a dumb football player that wants to run for class president and, you know, he's handsome and all this stuff. And they literally saw Chris Klein walking by and they're like, he looks fucking perfect for this shit. And he just became a lead actor in this film. Wow. That's just so from crazy. walking around in his high school. That's sick. Isn't that great? You love to see it. Love to see it. That's it's like I walk around town being like. Yeah, dude, just to get a role. For the visual right. listeners, he looks like handsome Squidward right now. <laughs> I love it, dude. That's the pout. A, yeah, that's some blue seal type shit. Oh fuck. Ooh, fuck. Shit. He's, he's versatile. Please have that be the thumbnail. one day. Yeah. <laughs> one day you will be <laughs> one day you will be uh casted for that alone for sure. Um Daniel Radcliffe was a was a casted off the street or off really? the set or something. Yeah. That's what I, I watched heard. that inside Hogwarts thing. He uh Yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. You're corroborating yeah. the story. Yeah. yeah, cool. Yeah. Her my uh MO What's her face? Didn't want to be Hermione after the first movie. Emma Watson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, election's really cool. Check it out. Criterion supplements are great. Nice. Uh I got a couple more. Uh let's do it. Oh wait, no, Daniel Radcliffe was in a different movie and they saw that and that's why they got him. He was in a So that's not movie. a blind cast, no, really. He, he was in a movie before then. What was it? Where did I read it was like that Oliver he was Oliver Twist or something? He was like a very he was like a homeless British child. Okay, so maybe that's where I'm. What I'm thinking. Yeah, of. they didn't literally find him on the street. His character lived on the street in his first movie. Ah, so. uh, no, I swear that he. They were doing casting, and it was just like some kid that cleaned up or something. And they're like, "Hey, you want to read for this?" 
Am I just totally Mandela affecting myself right now? Probably. No fucking clue. All right. Well, I'm going to fact check it. I'm going to be honest. I was lying about what I said. I knew that. But future Chris Thanks, will man. fact check this. And if it's true, it'll stay. If it's not, it won't stay. You're totally. Thanks for coming clean. Yeah. G- check it out. That's all I could say. Election? Election. More like erection. Oh, fuck. Um, I'm going to leave that in. Okay, it's I'm about, not, not going to edit that out. It's about a hard cock. Okay. Uh, I love when you explain the, the first of all, the joke was shit, but then you explain the shit joke. Yeah. Which is now makes, this, sorry. Will yep. you just let me get to it? Yeah, my bad. You probably want to hear this one. Yeah. Okay. It's kind right. of on you that we haven't got there yet. Yeah, you, you're right. I should stop interrupting. Go ahead, Josh. Th- I'll, I'll count you in. Three, two. Everything. Everywhere. All at once. The review. <laughs> That was a deep cut for for the review for fucking. You know what's no, no. more American? <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do the, okay. the Josh review. All right. Everything, everywhere, all at once. The review. This movie touched me, like the old saying goes. Like the old saying goes. I laughed. I cried. I came in my own face. <laughs> but you also knew what it was about right away. Yeah, I've, I'd already seen it. You, you saw right through it. You saw right through it. I knew what it was about because I had seen it once before. Because I, you speak Chinese. What? I had to watch this again. I kind of bought this. I bought it on 4K Blu-ray because I had to like this movie. This is my. Uh, I had issues the first time watching it. Set and setting was a big issue. We sat too far away from the screen. Yeah. All that being said, I did not leave the theater. Being like, wow, this movie changed my fucking life. Now, after watching, after the rewatch, watching on my brand new TV. Thank you oh. to my lovely wife who bought me a brand Shout new fucking TV. Shout out to TV. fucking Josh's wife with an eighty-five inch, very monolithic. very nice. It's I went over there. It's offensively large. It's pretty big. It's dude. your your apartment is for your TV now. Yeah, is how what it feels like. You That's walk a- in and you're like. <laughs> this is just to keep this. Thing. Yeah, it's like yeah. the screen from her, where it's like it is the apartment. Dude, <laughs> like, I was just like, so that's your whole wall. Yeah, it is offensively large. It's fucking huge. It's a fucking. It like makes a noise. Yeah, like if you look at it funny, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking large. Anyway, so I, that was the first movie I cracked Girthy on the ass TV for uh, yeah. for the new TV. Um, I really, really, really like this movie, dude. A lot. Let's freaking Let's go. Fucking go. BB. Let's freaking go, BB. Redemption. The and Josh Redemption arc. The final action sequence is fucking everything. And I and I don't mean that as like a pun. Nope. Not trying to make. But you said. It. I know. I but know. that's like the movie. The movie. I get it. Uh, it's four three as fuck for sure. I was crying during the ending action sequence, dude. Yeah, and I I got teared up at the end too like with the the last action sequence and. Every man, it's just so 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 good. Great fucking movie. However, the redemption arc. Wow, let's fucking oh go. fuck. Give All it right. up for Josh, dude. The redemption arc. Says he came around. You're now four three. He was a villain, and now he's a party member. It's a hundred percent four three for sure. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I recant that statement. It is it is four three. Wow. Uh, it's not on my high S tier list of four three. If that oh. makes sense. It is on ours for sure. Yeah. yeah. It's like in my top like, 10 movies of all time. Yeah. Th- this is something where it's like I respect it so much for being what it is. So like they so fucking went for it. Yeah. It's so, yeah. It's so original. One of the most original films I've ever fucking seen. Um, it's a multiverse movie that's absurd, hilarious, yeah. and also just great fucking action with like a yeah. great visual. But, but it's whooping ass with a fanny pack or a butt plug. And it's just like, what the fuck? But Dude. what really does it for me is the story between the mom and her daughter at the end. You know yeah. what I mean? Like that's that's what it's all about. That's what really, really, really yeah. works it's for me. Everything. Um, <laughs> by the time you get to uh, the rocks and they're like yeah. bubble, their oh. bubble dialogue, you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no, it 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 really does affect you big time. Yeah. But it's not like a fucking top one hundred film for me. One hundred. I, I don't think that's saying. Go through your top 100 right now. Number yeah, 100. No. What is it? Uh, no. Shaq. Shaq movies. We have to use established. That's, yeah, that's <sighs> yes. Yes. Kazam. Kazam. So, Kazam. 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 Steel. Oh, no, it's, it's Kazam. 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 Kazam, of course. No. What was the Sinbad one? Is that a Mandela thing? It's that's a Mandela, a Mandela effect. Thing, yeah. But there was a Sinbad genie movie, right? No. No, there wasn't. That's what a Mandela the effect. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what? I gotta go. <laughs> 
<laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? That, you know, that wasn't even fake. I was gen- like, what the fuck? Yeah, there, there fuck, was, there was not a Sinbad genie movie. That's a whole Mandela effect thing. So I'm sorry. Top 100, not even in it. No, I don't think so. Wow. I would have to really count it's them out. My top 10. But like, I don't mean that in any sort of derogatory way. I'm not saying like, this doesn't fucking deserve to be. It probably does, but it's like, it's still not there for me. Wow. So but, you, that's but, so crazy. But I'm not like, you, you say that like, I'm like, fuck this movie. But I'm no. not saying that. I know, but it's like, it's, but we have you pay A hundred movies that you- A like, hundred. And this you is, don't have them at the ready, but you're like, it's definitely not ahead of them. No, like it's not one I would, I would like, if I think about that movie, I'm not going to place it anywhere. Wow. But I know it's fucking great. I know it's, it's great. Our shock isn't that you're saying- it's a bad movie. Our shock is that we thought we knew you and your sensibilities and your sense of humor because this fucking right down right. the lane and for me. And it turns out that you're a lying bastard. <laughs> it turns out you're a piece of shit and we need to find a new co-host. I'm just joking. <laughs> I felt bad as I was saying that. <laughs> Abandoned bit. Joking. Joking. Fucking parachuted out of that bit immediately, dude. When you launch your parachute at 30,000 feet. <laughs> Jumped out of the plane, parachute. <laughs> I'm, it's gonna be Even hours. Gets caught in the fucking. <laughs> it's gonna be hours before I land. Oh fuck! You're gonna have to alert. Air yeah, trip. it's. Just, I cannot place it anywhere as far as like favorites of all time. But Dude. I know it's fucking outstanding. As I was like, watch- I don't know what else I could compare that to. Like, I don't know, man. I, th- this may be a bad example, but like, I know Indiana Jones, like the, the first one, the second one. I know those are great movies. Yeah, but they're not like I wouldn't rank those anywhere. I get. That I as know well. they're great. I get that as well. It's just that Jurassic Park. You know what I mean? It Jurassic Park is in in your top one hundred. It's a great fucking movie, and it's four three. It's S tier. It's fucking Criterion BB. Yeah. I I can respect the fuck out of that, but it's like I don't know where to place that. It's not like it. I feel like it does not. I I don't identify with that. You know what I'm saying? I guess not. I I understand. I understand. Not like the rundown. It's, just, it's just, right. Yeah, that's yeah. what you grew up with. I or grew up with. Tall. Or Walking Tall or Bad I don't Boys know, Two, Southland Tales, all the classic rock films. Right, Dwayne the Rock. The rock oh yeah, that's kind of like a through line, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. is. Strange. The Scorpion King, Faster. Scorpion King Two, Rise of the Warrior. Rise of, specifically on Blu-ray. He wasn't in Part Two. Um, flashback parts that he was in. Anyways, <laughs> and then I fought. Let me wrap up here. Uh, this yeah. is getting way too fucking long. Um, and I also watched literally me the movie, dude. Literally me the movie. Drive. What? Drive. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Ban out. Ban out. On 4K. On 4K. Shitty in my pants, dude. How is that? It is fucking outstanding. It's it's Ryan Gosling, Brian Cranston, Albert Brooks as yeah. the villain. Yeah. I'm glad you brought this movie up because it wanted it. I wanted to bring up the fact that sometimes there are movies that are a meme to like now yeah where it's like i watched drive or his favorite movies drive or whatever red flag or you know like yeah oh he's a cinephile but he only likes a24 movies or whatever it's like hey those are still good movies yeah, yeah. fight club american psycho drive all the literally me movies that are they're, red flags they're good they're still good and i'm the, sorry that they i like them or if i own them it's i'm not gonna let memes and tiktok kill the fact that those are good movies just because they're overplayed for a reason a lot of yeah. people like them for a reason well they're fucking a, good there's also people that just uh, miss the entire point of like how american psycho is like making like their their they're biggest, mi- yeah they're their missing biggest audience is now those people they are making fun of and they yeah. don't get it you know yeah, what I where mean? it's like that's a satire on american capitalism and materialism yeah right and then also ob- objectification of women and all that and then fucking Wall Street will loves it. It's his favorite movie. Yeah, and fucking yeah. incels are like, that's fucking me, dude. Yeah. yeah. And it's like, okay, you're you totally missed the fucking point. Right. Yes. Um it's like if you're saying that's you, that's a red flag. That is a red that's flag. That's a red flag. But, but you're like, like, that's if, so me, dude. But if you yeah, it's not like I relate to Christian Bale as a character. It's that I like that movie if as a do, movie. It's a good movie. Therapy. It's a good fucking movie. Like, yes. Betterhelp.com slash <laughs> But um yeah, drive, dude. It's it fucking holds up so hard. It is hard. One of the fucking best movies with the best soundtrack ever. The fucking vibe of that movie. It's so fucking vibey, dude. Shout out to Kavinsky, dude. I literally remember watching this in a dollar theater for the first time. Bruh. Was such a fucking vibe. And like went in absolutely blind. Had never seen a trailer. Never even saw the poster. I saw the fucking, you know, when you go up to the box. Remember back when we used to go to the box office? Yeah. Like to the fucking like a little ticket stand? Yup. 
and I saw the fucking tiny banner that said drive with Ryan Gosling. And I was like, I guess sure. Date night. Let's go check this out. Blew my goddamn mind. (laughs) My girlfriend fucked me way harder after seeing Ryan Gosling and drive (laughs) than any other. No doubt. dude. (laughs) Um, Oscar Isaac's in that movie. Yeah. As standard. He's standard. Yeah. Yeah. Totally forgot about Christina that. Hendricks. Christina Hendricks for Always some reason. Always great. Great actress. Great actress. Very weird that Oscar Isaac was in that. I had no idea. Yeah. That was, was before he was even on my radar. I think Ex Machina put him on my radar. Same. Uh, Sucker Punch put him on my radar. Okay. Just had was, to I never even saw that. I remember the effects were like it's a, a big, great movie. Zack Snyder. Arguably a great movie. Sucker Punch. I'm just kidding. Um, that's how they said it in the trailer. It's 300. They're like, Sucker Punch. <laughs> <laughs> Drive is great. You're forgetting something on your watch list. The worst person in the world, BB, another what? Criterion collective mm. situation. And I'm generally, I, I'm only bringing this up because I love this movie. And it was like, it hit me at the perfect time. It was like a literally me movie. Because you're like, I'm the worst person in the world. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching this. Like, I relate way too much to this person. <laughs> but have you seen it? No. Oh, fuck. All right. I can let you borrow it if you want. Cool. Yeah, uh, you got to. But um, I'll throw it away. What are your genuine thoughts? Because. I fucking love that movie. Okay, and it, good. It's it's such a vibe. I felt like I liked it way more. I was like scared that I that you were like, yeah, it's pretty good. But I feel like you didn't. Is it one of no, those I, where you turn it on watching it with him and then you're like <laughs> Sometimes I used to do that shit all the time. Dude, yeah. I but. straight up had to stop one day because my brother was like, Hey man, would you stop fucking looking at me? <laughs> 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 you're watching them watch it. You're fucking ten years old, like fuck. Like <laughs> something happens and you're like yeah yeah did you like it <laughs> yeah i remember yeah, yeah. your brother did that to us though when uh he had us watch star trek 2 the wrath of khan and i fell asleep like 10 minutes into it and then i woke up as the credits were rolling <laughs> and he was like what'd you think knowing full well i've been asleep <laughs> and i was like it was really good <laughs> <laughs> that's funny it's like it's that you look over and then they're on your phone and you're like you want me to pause it and they're like yeah no you're good and, like, and you're like oh, oh. what the fuck <laughs> fucking kill me or when someone goes to the bathroom and you're like you want me to pause and like no that's okay and you're like (laughs) offended yeah (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. pain pain suffer oh god that's the worst it's like you're just fucking wobbling around like they're about to do a fatality (laughs) 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 no don't pause it (laughs) all right so worst person in the world thoughts fantastic i fucking love this movie thank you it's foreign as fuck (laughs) thank you i made it (laughs) It's foreign as fuck, so you got to read some subtitles. Yeah. Um, but it's it is absolutely wonderful. I don't mean that as a bad thing. Yeah, okay. You, you got to yeah. read while you're watching it. Got to read it. Uh, but it's fucking outstanding, and I can't wait to see what else that director does. I got to go back in their filmography. Yeah, big time. Such a fucking vibe, man. The, the cinematography is great, and like the, there are set. I don't want to spoil anything, but the sequences in there kind of like catch you off guard that are like very unique and it's like oh I, I, like not that you've never seen that before but it's like the way that they're using it in this is mm-hmm. impressive and it's like you wouldn't expect a smaller like independent film quote unquote to do s- things like this that like kind of push the boundaries of like storytelling at the scale they're doing it. yeah and it's like wow like they use that very efficiently and they even like if you go into the supplements they made other sequences that are also like whoa what the fuck that's cool well like what a unique interesting idea that they were like we're gonna cut this because it doesn't make sense story-wise Damn. and it's like you know what man like i respect the absolute fuck out of that yeah to because, make it have a cohesive vision. yeah because yeah. it's like this is a cool sequence and we're doing a cool trick here mm-hmm. but it doesn't make sense in the narrative of the story and it kind of takes you out of it so we're just gonna cut this great sequence yeah. that we created for this movie yeah That's i feel like dope. only seasoned directors can recognize a abrupt halt in pacing like that yeah and be able to kill their own babies as as the old saying goes to basically remove a sequence they love so much or they work so hard on or they spend totally. so much time on like that takes a lot of balls to do and most of the time that's what an editor is there for to be like yeah i don't care about that sequence but if a director is so close to it they're like no you can't i shot that what do you mean yeah that's why yeah. the new ari yeah. aster film is fucking three and a half four hours long yep the one with joaquin phoenix yeah even though he's not a i mean yeah. i'm still gonna see it oh, me too. i mean me too but it's like like that's a long fucking movie does it need yeah. to be that long or are you ari aster and you can do whatever the fuck you want no one's gonna say no hey here's a w take bring back intermissions for movies fuck yeah dude last time yeah. i did if i see a single l take in the comments <laughs> you know that's all you're gonna get now i'll find your ip address just dude. comment back their ip <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just reply <laughs> their home address 
<laughs> fucking good old Hunter Moore I don't action. Care. Oh my god. Oh yeah. I fucking watched that too. I forgot that. You did? That's my watch list. Shout out, it shout well. out our high school. Shout out to the most hated man on the internet. For it's a being a doc. farm for that guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Have you... <laughs> <laughs> did you watch it no okay at the hunter moore documentary we, we josh and i watched it Let's yeah, just yeah knock it out fucking the documentary behind the guy that did is anyone <clears throat> up.com um, which we never visited but it, this it, was this was like i mean it's a big time throwback for us i think if you were in the metal or scene community whatsoever you either heard about this site have been to the site or heard about somebody on the site whether it or was knew like, somebody on the fucking yeah, site who, was, who they themselves did not know they were on it yes. until someone told them yes yeah it, it was either it, but not even i mean it's mostly women obviously but it would be band members of no, like oh I, I listened to that band oh there's like, his cock. cool i've seen his penis now, yeah and yeah. I, I was just scrolling it was it was like, all in the metal scene which is fucking crazy it's a crazy but documentary. That, that's where it started and then it went you know further and reached new people yeah. and new communities and but, stuff but yeah, he's a piece of fucking shit. Piece of garbage. Go check out in his his modern day Twitter. Unbelievable that he's like a free man. He's on Twitter right now? Yeah. I thought he was not allowed to be on social media. He's anymore. on it again. Jesus fucking Christ. Fuck that guy. Yeah, it's so bad. <clears throat> Public it's menace. the family. Ugh. Oh my God. It's bad. But the documentary is good. Uh, the documentary is really good. Straight up cult leader, but like social media cult leader. Only yeah. three episodes. Yeah. I liked that. Me too. Because it was all a part of the story. They didn't milk it. They didn't milk it at all. I respect. And it's that Netflix. Too. Yeah. What do you know? Nice. Anyways, good, good shit. Yes, that's um, it for me. Okay. Nice. Alex. Um. Well, I got a few things. First thing is I watched the first episode of one of the seasons of American Horror Story. Uh, the fucking it's like the first, the episode is called Cape Fear. I don't know what the season is called. It's about like. What's the, what season? It's like season fucking. 10. <laughs> he literally said, "I don't know which season." And you're oh, like, which season? It, it's like season ten or something. Oh, okay. oh really? really far along there. Oh, okay. God damn. I, I, I turned, stopped after like the second season. I same. Think. I watched the first one. I got like halfway through the second, but I enjoyed it. I had hadn't watched any of the others, but I turned off this episode like 10, 15 minutes into it because, as literally, <laughs> the dialogue goes like this: the the main character is has an encounter with a crazy lady in a supermarket. <laughs> And then the cashier in the supermarket goes, oh, sorry about her. And he goes, oh, it's okay. I, I've seen way crazier stuff in New York where I'm from. And then Jesus. and then the cashier literally goes, oh, I know who you are, Mr. Hollywood. And I was just like, he just said he's from New York. That's and then so I, t- I turned it off. Yeah, I, that's that does not very good. bad. Not good. <clears throat> Is that the one with Lady Gaga? She in that? No, that's like the hotel one or some shit. Oh, okay. It's just so you bailed, yeah. See, on on a season you don't know, yeah. <laughs> oh fucking, it's just not good. Okay, I get it. um, so don't recommend that. Informative. You don't recommend a question mark season of American Horror Story. One hundred percent. Got it. Okay. <laughs> um, and where's that? Hulu. All right. Yep. So avoid that. Avoid that. You should have said, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Figure it out. Um, American Gangster with Denzel Washington. Ooh. What? <laughs> Very fun, good time, great. Russell cool. Crowe. Yes, BB? Russell Crowe. Oh, yeah. Looking like the yeah, average man at a hardware store. Um, but for do you remember when every woman was like, Russell Crowe is the most handsome man on earth? Yeah. yeah. I never understood and that. And now he's the guy from fucking, what was that movie? Oh, Unhinged. Unhinged. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now he's a thumb. Just the <laughs> jowls of a wildebeest. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, good movie. Two and a half hours mob movie. I was just feeling a mob movie. Yeah, yeah. No, Denzel is fucking astounding it, in that movie. Yeah. He We're, carries that movie 100%. Where'd you see it? Uh, Prime? I, nice. say. I think okay. I just rented it or something. Okay. Um, Yeah. Good, good fun Solid, time movie. Good recommend. Yeah, I would recommend it. If you like Denzel, if you like mob movies. Who doesn't like Denzel? That's a good point. Who do, yeah. Who Name the one. Per, and if you do, I'll kill you. Okay. All right. I'll I mean, it's it. not a big deal, but like. I'll edit that we'll out. Well, future Chris will edit that out. Yeah, but. yeah, and hurry it up next time, future Chris. <laughs> oh fuck! My weekly One Piece update. <laughs> I have completed the uh, fucking Punk Hazard arc now, and I am what a fucking. When you say arc, is are these episodes? These are right. one episode. No, I just got. We've been a little disrespectful. To the One Piece community on TikTok. Where is this coming from? We got to just, let's just be open-minded. Let's hear him out. No. Why? Alex? 
I Go promise ahead. you're going to like it when I describe it. Yep. So the evil pirate Caesar the Clown has been making us. He has a smile factory where he's been making artificial devil fruits. Don't look at me. Look at him. And uh, Josh, you're not paying attention. It's kind of rude. Me, don't pay attention to him, dude. So Captain Captain Don Quixote do Flamingo, who is the emperor of Dress Rosa, uh, has he hatches a plot to get Caesar Caesar the Clown back from the Straw Hat Gang. Who That's is, crazy. Go on. Who is trying? So, they also uh, they team up with uh, the Tone Tatas from the Green Bed Island, and they so like, and they the Tone Tatas they talk they talk like this and they go hello are you the princess they talk like that I was just about to ask you how they talk yeah and, thank you and so like they're trying to save Princess Manchuri from uh, Josh show some Do Flamingo or something. Do, show, and Do something Josh Do Flamingo is a pretty good villain so far and I like him. You know, Josh, do you have any questions for him? Holding for sound. That's my flight. Well, you missed it, obviously. Yeah, it's, I'll get a refund. Still holding for sound. It's the loudest plane ever. <laughs> it's right above your building. So he's he's <clears throat> laid out a lot of yeah cool things about this arc do you have any questions or should we so like do you want to move on do you or? like do captain don quixote do flamingo of dress rosa say that one say that repeat that back one more for time josh don did um, you say this character's name was don quixote dress flamingo that's close enough you know what i'll take it okay yeah you're now a weeb that like genuinely that sounds fucking awful uh, this arc is a hundred episodes. <laughs> well, so where are you? Uh, okay. So there's how, how long are the episodes? Uh, Twenty minutes. Fuck you. So, no, no. So, so, fuck you. That's the story. No, no, no. It could Hold be. On. He's still mad. Here, fuck you. Here's where I'm at in the story. I'm after the time skip. Dress Rosa. Have you watched a hundred episodes since we talked? Yes. Fuck, dude. Oh my fuck. He That's goes, so many episodes. He goes into a hyperbolic time chamber and watches shit. Yeah. I don't know how he does it. There's the Dress Rosa arc and then the Zoo arc and then the Whole Cake Island arc and then the last one, which is the longest one so far, is the Wano arc. And that's what I'm really excited for. More like Guano because it's fucking bat shit. That was a pretty good joke. Get fucked. I mean... Yeah, it's me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fuck me. Yeah, fuck you. I'm just trying to be supportive. That's fucking awful, yeah. man. It's really, Why would you... Why? Here's the thing. What the fuck? It's good no it's good well there's a fucking to tiktok you red can't... flamingo pink man like what the fuck are you watching dude it's a pirate it's do they fuck each other at least at least they should they, they should is be. that why you're watching this because they're fucking each other constantly that's the I one mean, piece yeah the one piece is one one piece of ass yeah jesus man this one sounds puss. fucking awful genuinely genuinely i hate you for this you're gonna get destroyed in the TikTok comments. Come for it, you fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> they probably won't make it into the clip, but fair. That should be in the fucking clip. come for it though. <clears throat> come for it. Come, for it. <laughs> <laughs> it jo- come for daddy. <laughs> oh. Come for it. You fucking idiots. <laughs> You fucking idiots watching cartoons. A thousand episodes. What, th- a thousand episode cartoons. How many episodes does The Simpsons have? I don't know. Probably like five hundred. How many episodes does The Simpsons have? According to DreamMoods.com, The Simpsons has seven hundred thirty-one episodes. The Simpsons has nine seasons, and The Simpsons started on December seventeenth, nineteen eighty-nine. That makes it a classic. <laughs> it does, yeah. It Simpsons has like fucking twenty three seasons. Yeah, that's that's not right. But <laughs> that's just all around incorrect. It's incorrect. I but mean, like, fuck that, dude. I hear what you're saying. I hear you. Uh huh. I understand why you say fuck that. You have to. You have to hear me. It's really good. No, it's not. It's all. It's definitely fucking not though. It is. Good. Here's the thing. the The creator of One Piece will plant these seeds. And like episode seven, and Can then I, in episode f- six hundred seventy, you'll be like, "Oh shit, that's coming around." Okay. Can I ask you something for real though, and answer it one hundred percent honestly? Yes. How many of these episodes would you say are filler? Several seasons worth. <laughs> okay. <laughs> God so, damn. Okay. Dude. So fuck that. 
Well, I'm skipping the filler. Nuh-uh. Yes. I'm You're not going to skip- watch I'm not going to watch filler. What do you mean? Several seasons. You've the, skipped sca- several seasons. Yes. Because they are filler. They are not canon to the story of One Piece. What the fuck, dude? You then you so, can't then you, you can't say you you're okay. providing any sort of weekly update when you're not watching several. I'm getting seasons of a show. arcs of the show. It's like I know exactly what the canon story is. No, but you're point. making the canon is what the thing is. I'm not the Those fil- people, filler is filler. I'm not going to watch filler. But that's the show. Filler. Creators. I just met her. Nice. Thank you. But they made. The show as a show, it's not like I can no, watch no, no. a movie and go, oh, the act two is filler, so I'm going to skip it and then discount that as part of the story. Here's what comes if, if it is negative. If if I enjoyed the first and third act, but not the middle, then the movie gets to be a five or six or a seven and not a ten. If it's all good, here's you seem That's to not my point. You seem to not understand what filler is. I do understand what it is. It's, do you? It's a bridged. It. It's a bridged. You're making a bridged version it's based on the internet culture of whatever the fuck. It's one piece. No. You're manually doing it. It's, no, no, no. It's, it's, okay. When anime is created, it's generally because it's from a manga. So when a manga is still ongoing, they'll create the anime up to that point until they catch up, at which point the studio will create filler, which is not an original story by the author of the manga. So by skipping the filler, you're not really missing out on anything. And you're not really watching the show. <laughs> okay. You're not right. watching the show, dude. You don't even deserve your fucking One Piece update, dude. <laughs> All right, well, that was That's your One Piece update. Do you still recommend it? Yes. Literally, what episode are you on? 700. And he's of, only watched 17 of those episodes, probably. Out of what? 1,024. And several seasons. So or, in the comments, or, in the comments, is Alex watching One Piece correctly? They're going to say yes. No. No, they're fucking they not. Are. They, they are. Will. They Those will. fucking idiots will be like, no. You, you know need- how I know? Because I'm the biggest weeb here. Yeah, that's true. False. You said that it's very Chris. proudly. I mean, it's simply fact. I think it's Chris, actually. Yeah? He yeah. owns uh, Ghost in the Shady. Oh, yeah. Shadiness. Where'd you get that? Doesn't matter. I own it. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Ghost in the Seashell, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. Sally sells Ghost in the Starring Seashell. Starring Scarlett Johansson. Right. Yeah, the the true the the one version. the first version of Ghost in the Shell was Scarlett yeah. Johansson. Not the animated remake. No, that's fucking stupid. bullshit. You have a a, go, a a Gojira, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you said that, right? Yeah. Yeah, actually did, but yeah. Yeah. Gojira. Yep. That's the one. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh what else you got? That's it. Great. Let's get to this movie. <sighs> Let's talk about. I recommend One Piece. Yeah, we for the fourth week or fifth week in a row. I understand that you recommend One Piece. The Gray Man, starring Ryan Gosling and Chris Evans. This is more. This is more your lane. Yeah, this is a movie that you would like a lot, right? You, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you nailed it. So, as an expert of films like this. You're a big fan of the Russo brothers. Those are your favorite directors. So it's like Christopher Nolan for me, mm-hmm. Stanley Kubrick for Chris, mm-hmm. the Russo brothers. The Russo bros. Famous for uh, that community episode where they play paintball. The Avengers the Endgame. Avengers 3 and 4. 3 and 4. Winter uh, Soldier. 21 Bridges. Yeah. yeah. Chadwick Boseman. Yep. You know a lot about the Russo bros. And- They're my favorite editorial or directorial um, team. Combo? A power couple. More so than the Daniels. E- easily. I mean, so, 21 bridges. There's. Like, have you even seen that many bridges? That's a lot. No. That's, I, that's honestly, why I watch the movie. I'm going to be straight up honest with you. I haven't even seen the first 20 tw- bridges. Well, you're missing out on a lot. You should at least see the first thir- like 13, 14. Well, 10 no, of but them are filler. Fuck, I'm sorry. God damn it. I got there first. I'm f- f- faster and He's funnier. faster and funnier. <laughs> He got there first. You, you have did. to admit, admit it, admit yep. it. Yep, he got there first. Say it, say the words. You got there first. Thank you. And now you have to marry your mother-in-law. <laughs> it's true. So as a Russo bro stan, what do you think of The Gray Man? Um. Well, as a sequel to The Gray with Liam Neeson, <laughs> it's not that good. It's spelled differently, by the way. Yeah. For some reason. And also as a sequel to Taken, it's not that good. Yeah, true. So but is that's a- my review. All right, so it's not that good. Yeah, cool. it's f- it's a fun time. All right, thank I'll you say. for listening to there are too many. Movies. Is it a fun time? 
It's it's fine. I think it's absolutely not a fun time. Yikes. I did not fucking like this at all. Wow. You know what it is mostly? Um, this is an overarching this an L take, bro. Go on. Um L take. I don't think the Russo brothers are good at storytelling. At no <laughs> I at don't, narratives. Narratives. Fuck. I don't think they're good at action sequences, honestly. Mm. And visually action sequences. Dude, the CGI in, th- in this fucking movie. Dude, in theory, I understand that the action sequences are cool. Yeah. But the way that they shoot it, mm-hmm. the style in which they shoot it is garbage dog shit, fucking UPN original series. You know what I mean? No, I fucking feel that. I would say it's mid. It's a CW it's 33 garbage. series. You know what I mean? It's, oh, it's not as bad as CW. No. They... Dude, I fucking hate all of their action sequences. They're too much sometimes. The fucking the de- the the fake depth of field that they use, mm-hmm. the fucking shitty green screen, the fact that shit, they yeah. they obs- they intentionally obscure the screen during fast action sequences, yes, so yeah. that they can mask all the CGI. There's no sense of impending dread to any of their films. There's no sense of stakes or uh I don't know fucking thrill. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like that's not a part of their films because you know that your guy is going to make it out yeah. just fine and he'll make a fucking joke afterwards. True. Like there's no fucking It feels like a Marvel movie. There's so. no impending doom yeah. surrounding this film at all. No, I agree. It it felt like um it still felt like a Marvel movie in a sense without this, superheroes. This took ten years to make what? Well they didn't worry in production the whole time. I know. I know. It was just deaded. They've had this script for ten fucking years, Chris. Russo Bros? No, this script has been in development for 10 years. Right. It was at one point attached to uh, Brad Pitt. True. At one point attached attached to somebody else. I forgot who. Oh, it's going to be a f- all-female cast Yep. at one point. Um, but they stuck with this script for fucking 10 years, dude. Yeah. The script has been virtually unchanged for Here's 10 the years. Thing. I also agree with you in that I, I don't think it's a good movie. Right, I do think it is fun. I had fun. Yeah, I. It it's not, but mm. yeah, the CG. It was fun until the CG went too far, and it went too far every scene. Yep. Yeah, there are nine action sequences in this, mm-hmm. which is cool. That's what. That's why you're there. Yeah, it's Fast and Furious, but all of them look bad. Yeah, they all look bad. They got to the point that they look bad. I think. For example, just as an example. I really was enjoying the airplane fight scene until they jumped out of the fucking plane. And it became full CG animated characters. It it literally became Uncharted, the video game. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it's cool if you pull it off practically, but probably like the Uncharted movie, which we didn't even see because we can assume it's dog shit. Right. It became too much CGI. Mm. I mean, you're watching of literally they did full animated people fighting in the sky. They could have done that practically. I don't know. Or if there's just a way to maybe not make it so over the top. But I was enjoying the creativity of that twirling plane yes. that they were fighting inside of. That was fun. Or in the beginning when the assassination scene where he had he was lining it up to shoot through floors. Yeah, that was yeah. cool. Based on sound and like like he, that was cool. And then he was moving through the crowd, killing people. And then he was fighting on a firework ship. Yes. Yeah. And it's like, so every single scene was like, cool, cool, cool. And you turned it to 11. Yep. And now it's not cool anymore. Now you turned it into a superhero Avengers film. You now it's I mean? fast for fast nine or fast 10. or. But like those are stupid. But they're self-aware stupid. Yep. Self-aware yeah. stupid. And but also Some like of them. they take themselves seriously enough to be stupid. Some Does that make them. sense? It's like you're watching it to be like, oh, this is fucking stupid as shit. Yeah. This one, it's like, how, look how cool this is going to be. They're going to be flying in the air, dude. Yeah. Check this shit out. It's not like self-aware cool or this, self-aware fun. And like halfway through, I was like, oh, they're trying to make like a John Wick type character story arc, you know? Yeah, kind of. It's like all these different assassins are going up against him and he's going to fucking fight his way out. Tooth yeah. and claw. Um, fuck, dude. Ten years with this one script, and it is god fucking awful, man. I will say though, Chris Evans was a great villain. 
He's a good. A- I just enjoy seeing him and whatever. He's very charismatic. He is. I liked. He, I like the premise of a guy that didn't give a fuck and kept on fucking. People yeah, he's up and, outside the confines of the government and then can therefore be outsourced like, by them. Like, like I like. Like, first of all, the character. He was him like a clean cut trash stash fucking just a piece of shit just a piece of shit which by the way they did that in mission impossible too it's like you want a villain just give him a mustache henry cavill yeah Yeah. but um but he like the scene where he's like so he enters the guy that trapped him and he goes so where's my money just three casual (laughs) shots to the chest yeah not even looking yeah that was fucking hard that was hard but they fucked up because they cut back to the guy and like oh Uh, like that was fucking stupid yeah then it became funny then it became but, but like honestly dude i was like that's fucking dumb it yeah. was cool for a second because he didn't even go like make it dramatic. Like, he no, was just from the hip. Bob, it was like Joker executing the guy at the bus. Yeah, that was cool. And then they cut back to the guy to make it like a you know make a joke or whatever. Yeah, because that's what the Russos do. It has it to corny. be fucking silly joke afterwards. True. You know, I, again, like I was in. Someone smells pie and floats across the <laughs> room. Yeah, I think I think I genuinely, I think I was in a good mood when I watched it. So that made me go. Ah, that was lame, but I'm still having fun. Whereas yeah. if I was in a worse mood or I didn't feel like watching the movie or like, if I was stressed, I'd have been like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. But I was enjoying, like, I compartmentalized that Russo shit from the stuff I enjoyed, I think. I really just can't stand them anymore. I'm like green screen fatigued. No, I agree. For real. I'm with you on that. Every time I would see the over CG green screen background shit, I just was so taken out of it. Check the fuck out. Yeah. I would yeah. che- I was checked the fuck out 30 minutes into this movie. Well and then I had another hour and a half. Yeah it's and long. I was like, it's too long. 30 minutes could be chopped off this for sure. Way too fucking long. Lose an action sequence. I don't give a shit. Um lose the fucking it, it, keep just making action sequences. Yeah. That's, anyway that's but, cool too. The the airplane sequence I could have done without. I thought that was dumb. Yeah, I understandable. I will say um like the uh, the car chase in the train that ended in the town square, the Prague scene, yeah, all, everything with the Prague, Prague. I thought that was fine I until that was good. he was in green screen jumping from train to train to train. Yeah, awful. That looked fucking bad, yep. horrendous, and you can't even tell what the fuck is going on, dude. You're just like I expected yeah. Falcon at one point to fucking swoop <laughs> in and be like, "Whoa, what a crazy day, dude!" And then he gets it was blown a, up. <laughs> it was Avengers level tragedies happening. Yes, for sure. Yeah, yeah. But that was the prog scene was fun until like I, like every time they went to eleven and then he's green screen skipping across the top of train cars yeah. and it looked it just looked bad yeah like conceptually if it was a Mission Impossible movie it would be Tom Cruise literally about to die on film and him doing it practically yeah yeah because he yeah and I get I don't blame Ryan Gosling in the least he's, no he's, no I would no. never do these things practically I mean Chris I Evans and yeah no I mean Chris Evans and Ryan Gosling did great for what yeah and yeah. Yeah. Armas. They're just yes. getting the fucking bag. Great. great actress. Great actress. Get in the fucking bag. Totally understandable. But mm-hmm. the Russo brothers are fucking like, I'm tired of their films, man. I'm tired of their visual language, which is like, I don't know what to call that. It's a, it's what do you call a bunch that? of VFX artists. It's not even theirs. That's yeah. why it feels like nothing. Yeah. That's no, why but, Marvel but movies feel like nothing. So often they're in fucking airplane hangars or they're mm. on a fucking, you know, city street or they're, you know, like there are so few like, cool fucking sets for them well, to work on. Well, those are the two settings in film. Airplane hangar, city street. Yeah. What the fuck An else elevator, are you supposed to do? You know? Where else you yeah. shoot, yeah. Dude, the fucking, the Langley chief, whatever that fucking guy is, the supermodel that's like, well, I'm going to blame this on you and I need to fucking... Oh, oh. Carmichael? The, the, but the bad guy that you're like, how, like, you're so like, like, cliche reprehensible. Yeah. How do you? How are you? A so young with such a high position of power in the CIA. Yeah. yeah. What? <clears throat> Get when older a, guys. When all of those guys always look like the fucking angry old men from the Muppets, dude. Yes. Yeah. Like that's what the, those guys look like. Yeah. Get that fucking guy. Bernie Sanders. That's the type of guy you want. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, like how funny would this be if it was fucking Larry David as oh, like the yeah. CIA? You know what I mean? Like John perfect. Lithgow. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shots that would be fucking murder. hilarious. And everyone is like a model now, you know what I mean? For in, sure. In the CIA, they went to fucking yeah, they work at Langley, whatever the fuck. Yeah. Um, the woman with the haircut, dude. Mm-hmm. She was bad. The woman with the, the woman haircut. With the haircut. That, you know the woman with the eyes. That one <laughs> fucking stupid haircut, dude. She looked. Yeah. There's, I don't was even, was it the the? She's like, the one that's like employing Chris Evans. Okay. Yeah. Um, she did have a haircut, I guess. I didn't like her stupid haircut. It's just, I mean, like it's a. It didn't stick out to it's me. It's clearly like a, a fucking wig fucking though. Hair. <laughs> 
I, I, I couldn't it didn't, tell. It didn't stick out to me. Yeah. It really looked like a terrible wig. Really? Yeah. All right. That's what I thought. But I mean, we're just being picky. Um, Get my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Let, yeah. Let's let's go through a little bit of like some of the story. One thing. No. I, one thing I wrote. Yes. No. The man one thing is I wrote, gray. You'll he enjoy wanna. this. You'll enjoy this. Okay. The man is a gray guy. He he works for the CIA. Yeah, and that's where he got the name. Was Billy Bob Thornton? You exist in the gray now, making you the gray man. man. And then they both turned to camera, and it was like. <laughs> And yeah. it did like the kapow, yeah. like comic book art. Yeah. Right. And then it was like the gray man. And then it, and then it that. like it slithered down shit from the front of the screen <laughs> while, while it did intro credits. Yeah. Um, the fucking, the first scene with Anna de Armas where they're in a club speaking at like a whisper voice. Oh my God. Like what was the sound design for that? Yeah. They're in a club speaking like, hey. Oh, the party? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. The fuck like, was that? Why did you fucking? I can't hear you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah like I mean, I didn't. They're talking it like this. this Chris volume. was just hypnotized by Anna Dermot. Yeah, y- like, you fucking love this movie. Apparently, this movie had um, audio. I didn't yeah. even fucking. Uh, yeah, fucking awful, man. Um, so there was a moment where, first of all, he picks up. A, I'm upset that you liked this at all. I didn't. Fuck you, man. Didn't fucking. I fuck I'm you. on Josh's side. It's fuck not, you. Hey, fuck it's you, not man. my top 100, Josh. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to talk. Savagely taken down. Let's talk about <laughs> just a little bit of the story details because they're not good. And I want to talk about that. Where It's the most cliche. The plot. premise of the movie is he's a hitman hired to kill somebody. And the guy goes, hey, you're just like me. I was agent four and you're agent six. And I, and who hired you is actually bad. And here's the proof. And here's there. It's why you're killing. And then. The people that hired Ryan Gosling are like, "Hey, you got a uh, a thumb drive of stuff that that secret that we want we makes us look bad." So it's literally the first half of Transformers, but without Transformers. Really? Yeah, because he's like trying to hide the thing, and the people are after him. Well, regardless, he gets a top secret CIA classified thing that makes them look bad, and Ryan Gosling's like, "Wait, do I work for bad people? (laughs) The (laughs) The CIA?" CIA? The American terrorist group, basically? The, Them the and group, FBI. The group that drugged an entire class at Harvard with LSD just to see what would happen. Yeah. The group um, that... And created sway- the Unabomber. <laughs> yeah, sways global elections covertly. Anyways. They destroyed all of South America. They created <laughs> isanyoneup.com, dude. Yeah. <laughs> the CIA. Hunter Moore's in the CIA. Um, but, but so he gets the drive with classified cia bad stuff and he's like <laughs> that's what the drive said yeah bad like, guy stuff bad guy stuff do not open he goes to an internet cafe and plugs it in next to somebody playing league of fucking legends or something yeah. i was like what is this like doesn't he have any more means to look at these files than a fucking internet cafe and they the detail of him unplugging the ethernet cord before doing it oh shit Whoa, that's Ooh. big brain because then Fuck. it's not tethered to the internet <laughs> Fuck off. Fucking idiot. And I love that it's not encrypted, not nothing, just like you Windows Explorer file. Yeah. <laughs> bad stuff. Bad stuff. Yeah. Pictures. Evidence. You guys two I tries killed. left. Yeah, yeah, it's like a folder where you hide your porn that just says not porn. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like Jesus. Tax Christ. returns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no one will open that. God. C- cutting to porn on the... Cutting to <laughs> fucking. I'll, I'll cut it in. <laughs> no, I'm just sure. What, what was the dude's name that I don't like? The fucking Langley guy? Carmichael, I think. Carmichael. Like, there's one point where they're like, he didn't fucking take out the target and he fucking throws a milkshake at the oh wall. Oh my God. I was like, yeah. what the fuck were you drinking in that moment, dude? That was a fucking, like, yeah. That was a, like, heavy whipped cream. Fucking Nesquik. <laughs> throws <laughs> a fucking Nes- <laughs> Nesquik. Double strawberry milk. Trip <laughs> frappuccino. <laughs> yeah. like, God like, what damn kind of it. fruity ass drink were you drinking? Strawberry drink, Nesquik. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, fuck this. <laughs> Bob. Yeah. Out of Shake. a fucking, like, red and white straw, like. <laughs> It's the really fancy <laughs> promise man chocolate milk. <laughs> the red and white straw. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, really fuck. paint a that's picture a, with that's that. That's a milkshake, dude. Fucking yeah. Oval teen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's Why was mad. it so milky, dude? Yeah, he was jerking. It was like, it would, dude, it was like probably 11 o'clock at night. Yeah. It's, it's fucking old teen. He's, he's like, I'm just done with the milk now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a like fucking elementary carton school size of milk. Oh, I thought that was funny. Yeah. Anyways, um, 
Dude, what's with all the fucking three head location title cards? Anytime they moved anywhere, didn't matter where you it were. It doesn't. That's a that's a Russo Brothers visual trademark. trademark. Why do you need to listen? Because you're a fucking idiot. Wait, as the viewer of this movie, is this a wide shot? Hold the fucking phone. Yeah. Where the fuck are we? Where the fuck am I, dude? Yeah, big time. No. You can't just be at a castle somewhere. It has to be fucking Prague. Prague. Does it matter that you that he it, that bugged me so much? It was about every five minutes they changed location. Yeah. Hypothetical. Take them all out. Does that change the story at all? Fucking no. no. In fact, it doesn't distract. It, like, does it just? It just doesn't. It just fucking doesn't distract. You. That's all. And I don't know, man. It feels like haven't the last like three or four Netflix big budget Netflix movies done this? Yeah, Red Notice, this. Yeah, so it's like a big excuse for them to be like, all right, we're going to, you know, this is going to be $300 million to make this movie. To, yeah, it's like, Let's, we're not going to go travel there. Yeah, well, well, no, like they do. They do travel there. But then they're not, I was gonna say, but, I'm saying like, but then they CGI the rest of the movie. Exactly. Yeah. Like we're gonna CGI it anyways, but like let's just go to Prague for a, a week. You know and, what I mean? And if we go to Prague, we gotta show that we went to Prague, evident by putting Prague, yeah, as a title yeah. card. We can't go people, there and not put a title card. No one's gonna recognize one of the most historically relevant cities on earth. It's the same. They use the same fucking reasoning that Adam Sandler uses for ch choosing all of his love interests it's for movies. Fun. <laughs> vacations yeah vacations and it's like oh i don't know who am i gonna fuck in this film jennifer connelly sounds yeah. great in hawaii got it yeah drew yeah. barrymore wonderful for the fifth States. time yeah <laughs> jennifer aniston yeah. also i fuck uh, uh brooklyn, decker. brooklyn decker in the same movie great idea yeah he goes to all the castings yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah uh, i mean you're a fucking genius dude Thank yeah you. so we idolize you yeah. it's not a big deal now pronounce this is how he way. wins. Kevin Julia Smith. Fox. Julia fucking Fox, dude. Yeah. I mean, granted, that wasn't his movie. It was in a Happy Madison production. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Still a very... Yeah, Terrific. Yeah. <laughs> it's Terrific. Him. And it's then fucking... Blah, 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 the fucking diamonds. Mr. Yeah. Deeds as yeah. Huey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, racer how, drone shots were pretty cool. Happened. Racer drone shots were Yeah, the three cool. times it they happened. They did it. It was cool. It's fucking whatever, dude. Yeah. Fucking... You don't I like a racer drone shot? I like that fucking they're, whatever. I like man. that they're getting more prominent, even if they are. The the execution they're... didn't matter in the context of this movie. True, and they're not utilizing them well yet. Yes, like, ambulance was just like, well, let's just have this crazy shot in there, and then yeah. we'll make the audience throw up in the theater. Yeah, <laughs> but this one is getting was had it had one specific During the cut. Chase? Yeah, it went yeah. in a whip yeah. pan in. Yes. You saw that cut? one on the side of the cop car? Yep. I it love that it one. It was racer droning up to the car and then whip pan into the car. I was like, that was sick. That More was cool. thought out stuff like that would have been nice. But no, just that one. Another really well thought out one was whenever uh, Chris Evans kicks Billy Bob Thornton in the face in like point and two totally seconds. totally misses. <laughs> no, he gets him. Oh, he does? Yeah. Oh, I thought it looked pretty fake when I saw it. Oh, no, it's fake. Oh, it just looked fake. It just, you could. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. He clearly misses, but it's like the reaction of like, what did you say? You know what I mean? Like he kicked him in the face immediately. Yeah. yeah. And Billy Bob Thornton's like, ow. Like, <laughs> fuck, man. There's not another take of him going, what the fuck, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he goes, ah, crud, you hit my, my money maker. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> I liked him as a villain, though. I'll stand by that. Oops. And I know it's just a single movie, but I I don't feel like there was enough like characterization or relationship building between Ryan Gosling and Billy Bob Thornton to constitute him. Like, I get like he's his savior. He took him out of jail. He's the reason he now has freedom. Oh, Billy Bob. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it was, I just didn't feel like they had like a relationship relationship. No, you know what it I was mean? just shoot oh, really. Yeah. There's just too much going on, man. And it if really anything, was. like he trusted him for some reason as like his father figure, but at the end, or there was also that metaphor in the middle where he had like an atlas tattoo or whatever the Sisyphus. The, the, yeah, the Greek mythology thing where he's push pushing the world up and the boulder up and it rolls down every time. Whatever it is. A it's metaphor way fucking nailed it. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Atlas is the world. Sisyphus is the boulder. Got it. Atlas has the world on his back, right? Yes. Okay. So the boulder one, he has to roll the boulder up the hill and it rolls down every time. A metaphor for Ryan Gosling's career, right? Which has never been done in fiction. A metaphor for Sisyphus. <laughs> yeah. But point being, it was kind of hard that he had a tattoo of that. But 
then to say Billy Bob and him are friends. It's like that's the guy that's enslaving you. What are you talking they about? They should have they should have killed off Billy Bob in like the beginning. Yeah, maybe. And like yeah. his only option is to save the girl who has nobody and she's and like then he becomes a father figure. And then then exactly. They throw her into the top of a helicopter that's like on and she just goes splattered everywhere. <laughs> You know, Poor like easy breezy. Yeah, no, you you you're really good at writing story. You should you should. I'm gonna yeah. <laughs> you remember oh. her from uh, Once Upon a Time? Time? Yeah, she was also in. Uh, I think you should leave. She's the Tammy Craps doll girl. Huh? Huh? The girl in this movie. Oh, okay. Is the girl from I Think You Should Leave and Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? That's where I fucking seen yeah. it. Yeah, she looks familiar. Yeah, Once Upon a Time. She's really Poor good. Poor easy breezy. Yeah, yep. she's fucking hilarious in that movie. Yeah. Uh, arguably a better movie than this one. You could argue it. You could argue <laughs> Um Chris Evans originally was considered for the lead role, but he declined to play the villain. That's kind of cool. He's I like, I'm tired of being America's goody two shoes. Literally Captain America. Yeah. It's like the goody two shoes. The goodiest two shoes. America's Boy Scout. And then they offered him the villain role, and then he declined it. And then he changed his mind. Weird. He's like, you know, I will take the free money. Thank you. No, they, it was just they, a they thing him, to do. They offered him the lead role and they were like, okay, well, do you want to be the villain? And he's like, no. And then he came back and he's like, all right, fine. So he just didn't oh, want really? to be in the movie at all. Yeah, he, he turned down both roles, like the oh. lead and the villain. And he's then, like, take the fucking hint, guys. <laughs> I guess the Rooster Brothers were like, it's cost this much. And then they'll be like, oh, okay, yeah. well, fucking never mind. I'll Here's a that. duffel bag yeah. of bands. Dude got paid. <sighs> I think for Endgame, he got paid $16 million. <laughs> I'd play Andrew Jackson if I got $16 million. <laughs> <laughs> uh, $16 right. million, dollars, dude. Fuck. Um, so just one thing I wanted to point out about the story. The whole thing was about keeping these secrets under wraps, right? In the end, the CIA got the thumb drive, got to destroy it, and a ton of innocent people died. Yep. So flashback to the beginning. If Ryan Gosling just went, okay, here's the drive and moved on, all of this movie would not have happened. None of these people would have died. Uh, Billy Bob would be alive. The daughter would wouldn't yeah. be in danger. The drive went nowhere. The drive. He the should whole have put point, it in his asshole or something to hide it. He's just got it on the necklace that it is. Put it in a cloud. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. They, I like that they destroyed like the one drive. Yeah, destroyed the one drive, implying like that's the end of that. And they tried to no justify it where it's anywhere. like. You can't make a copy because then it's just a copy. Like what, dude? Wait, there was a line about that. Yeah, yeah. There was a line about I it. I don't even remember. That. Yeah, I, think I zoned out the last five ten minutes of. This I think movie. Anna Dermos was like, "Why don't we just make a copy?" And he's like, "Well, then you're just copying the encryption." What? What? It wasn't encrypted at all. Oh. He op- he opened the it on a fucking protected file. That's it. Yeah, he opened it on a fucking Alienware gaming computer in an <laughs> internet cafe. <laughs> yeah, it's not encrypted. It was encrypted. It had a password to it. That's not encrypted. I missed that completely. Yeah, there's a password. He guessed it? No, he he didn't. He didn't even know what was on it. He looked at the files. There like it was he was clicking on to open the files and it's like password protected. And he didn't know the password obviously. When did what screen am I thinking of when he plugged it in and there was just a bunch of bad photos That's showing probably CIA near the shit. end I guess. That was it. So he's trying to open the photos to like see more. Oh, so they got the thumbnail of yeah. the photos. <laughs> Yeah. But it's encrypted. <laughs> exactly. Ogre. So when did they unlock it? I don't remember. Who cares? But yeah, the whole movie is fucking pointless. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah 100%. It, and we're not saying it just like as like a comment. We're saying it is based on their own story. We right. got nowhere. The the CIA won. Innocent people died. A ton of people died because Ryan Gosling thought he could get away with all Carmichael of it. Carmichael right. is still in power as a tyrant. Yes. And they're implying like Ryan Gosling got off. He did it. He saved the girl. Killed yeah. hundreds of people in Billy Prague. Billy Bob Thornton died. Billy Bob Thornton Fuck. died. Tons of innocent cops in Prague died. Fucking what? Ten years. <laughs> Ten years. Ten fucking years with Yeesh. this script. Um, I did laugh at one or a couple moments in this movie. But like when he got maced. I thought that was one of the fucking ho- most oh, hilarious yeah, yeah. reactions. Yeah. He immediately gets amazed and he goes, oh. <laughs> like, yeah. the fact oh. that he just kind of like l- leans back and is like, oh, fuck. Oh, and he drops a grenade right away. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, fuck. Well, <laughs> shit. He's like, oh, you f- son of a bitch. He literally calls him a douche before he. Yeah. Like, yeah. Those, those lines of their first interaction were apparently all improvised. 
He also called him a Ken doll at one point. Oh, uh, did you catch that? Because, because, because you know, there's a there's a movie. The Barbie movie. There's a Barbie. Oh. There's a same coming out same time. Mm. Days of Oppenheimer. There's fucking Greta Gerwig and fucking Ryan Gosling. Joe Russo was one of the CIA executives as a director. Cameo cool. All we'll right. We're giving her a And we're done. That was The Gray Man. Oh, are we done really? Yeah. Yeah, fuck it, right? Mr. I wanted this to be over 30 minutes ago. Yeah, we're done. What do you mean? I didn't say that. You screamed it with no. your your vibe. Yeah. What? Your overall vibe is end me. <laughs> okay. I did. Uh, let me bring back one thing, though. Go on. They did a really great, heavily inspired reference to The Shining, which I thought was... What? Yeah, the reference to The Shining. I mean, I, I figured you, of all people, would appreciate the Russo brothers referencing... Are you checking out my games the right sh- now? The Shining... What? You checking out my games right now? I'm in the middle of... So, so, so I'm let me quite just... literally in the middle of a fucking bit, dude. I, ju- I mean, I just saw you looking at my games. So here's the thing. He was in the process setting up, teeing up a bit. And you stopped it dead in its tracks and said, how about this bit instead? It's not even a bit. <laughs> this is how I make conversation. <laughs> nice gams, dude. Thank you. You're welcome. They look great, dude. Thank you. They look great. Cool. Can I go on with my... Have you been, of have you been working on your gams? I have. That's evident. They had a hedge maze. That was the. That's shining not a reference? reference to the Shining. The, the, they did a fucking crane shot over the maze as they were entering. That, that's not a. That's shining not a reference. Shining. It's hundred percent a Shining reference. There, there's not a crane shot in the, in, the, as they enter the maze. No, are you thinking of Doctor Fucking Sleep? No. But which is your favorite? Movie? I just saw a Hedge Maze and I was like, they're doing an, an honest homage. Okay, to- so Tomb Raider was doing a, an homage to The Shining, yeah. with, of course, with their Hedge Maze. Yes, Harry Potter was also in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Yes, did you appreciate it? As a lover of cinema and the Russo brothers and, and Kate Stanley Cooper, your three favorite directors. Yeah, that's a uh, that's, that's why I love them all. They you know they understand cinema. They reference the great cinema of Kubrick. With their hedge maze. Just like The Shining. This movie was as good as The Shining. It was right there. That's it's your right up point. there. Yeah. yeah. It's right up there with Stanley Kubrick's The Shining. Mm. Yeah. By the way, in Fear Street, there was a very cool callback to The Shining. They, they do, Someone was breaking through a door with an axe and they followed the axe like the whip pans oh, back cool. and forth. That was cool. But is it cinema? <laughs> Don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> is it cinema? With Marty Scorsese, we have to determine whether or not the gray man is in fact cinema with Marty Scorsese. Boys, it's a simple question. Cinema or not cinema? I'll go first. It's not fucking cinema for me. Alex. No, not cinema. Chris? I'm not trying to be a contrarian. I'm not trying to ruin anyone's day. I think it was cinema for me. It was fun enough. Ah! And you you are entitled to your stupid, dumb shit, wrong opinion. How can obviously. you? How could you not know that it's not cinema? Gosling and Evans. It was fun. How can he not know? No, it was not fun. Know? I agree. It was fun. It was fun. I don't think it's cinema. It was fucking bullshit. It was fun until it went to eleven, but it was fun enough for me to call it cinema. It was quite literally. Is Crank cinema? Actually, it yeah. Is fuck yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, I should own that. <laughs> You're already. Oh, I gotta buy a steelbook. Crank. Crank. You know like what's not cinema? Uh, what? Not already owning Crank like I do. Yeah. Idiot. It's like, do you even like movies if you don't already own Crank on Steelbook? Here's the thing, dude. What? Eat my ass. Whoa, man. Give Speed 2. Speed 2? Yeah. The sequel? Yeah. High not Pursuit. The first one? Either High one. Pursuit. Or Cruise Control, I'm sorry. Is it really called Cruise Control? Yeah, because they're on a cruise ship. And it's starring Tom Cruise? No. I wish. Oh, my God. That'd be perfect. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> cruise Control. No. Anyways. It's starring Ted Cruz, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's spelled Eating that way. Eating children. <laughs> cruise Control. All, All right. right. Um, it was cinema for me, but not you guys. Whatever. I'm very surprised, but whatever. It was fun. You were in a good mood. I guess so. 
It was fun. We all have different opinions on this movie. Still 30 to 45 minutes too long. Yes. But I mean, it was fun. You know what sucks? Did you appreciate the, the visual language? You appreciate yeah, there it? wasn't one. Whatever. No, there yeah, was not really. Plant safe. Uh, the fucking, I will notice every single time I start to get restless, I check. It's always around 90 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be like, all right, how much does this have left? So as, anytime I check, it's like I'm at an hour 20 or an hour 30. When, every fucking time. When we were uh, doing First Man, when you were when we both were getting restless, it was an, an hour 15 into it. That's a little early, but it's because that movie was that goes big snoozy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was incredibly snoozy, and I was snoozing already. You literally were nee I was nee You First had your head back with your mouth open going. <laughs> yeah, I, but it was like. <laughs> and you had that, that bubble that kept inflating. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know the budget for this one. I do as well. Fuck. I saw it. Yeah. Alex, you want to guess the budget for uh, First hold Man? On, hold on. For First Man? Mm. Or for... Uh, I mean, we can do First Man if you the want. The First Gray Man. For the Gray Man. Both starring Ryan Gosling. They're all a fucking soup in my head. Fuck. Um, I'll go 40 million. Is that low? 40 million. Dude, 40 million? it just... We Look, spent, man, I don't no, fucking you, know anything. You, you dialed it in. You locked it in already. Fuck it. 40. Let's go. Let's... Breakdown. You saw it, right? You know it's starring Ryan Gosling, Anna de Armas, and Chris Evans, and you know it's directed by the people that did Marvel. How about two hundred million dollars? Making it the most expensive Netflix movie, original movie behind maybe Red Notice. Give me five hundred dollars. I'll remake this movie <laughs> <laughs> with as good special effects. Yeah. I'm sure. Um. Yeah. Awful shitty. Oh yeah. We got to do DMT, huh? Oh yeah, what was the dumb movie title for The Gray Man? The Gray Dad. It's a shitty dad movie. That was yours? Yeah. Also a shitty title. Um Fuck. You don't oh, even God. have one. I really don't. The Gray Man. The shit man. Only a few things we have oh the shit man? Got it. You didn't yeah. definitely just come up with that. No, 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 no. No. That's nice. Is that it? Down right there. That's it. Alright. I got Killer Kendall. Frenemy of the State, Summer Fun Convertible Boom Time, and Gosling versus Evans. So, so I had four. I don't like and any I, of those, though. I, Killer Kend also won. Mm. Mm. It's relevant. Mm. Mm. Is it? Yeah. Ryan Gosling. What do you think, Josh? I don't like it. Oh, yeah, should we so go with the shit one. man or yeah. the gray dad? Yeah. Yeah. Dog Either shit of those two are great. Yeah, I like them better than yours. I don't. I like our two better than your four. Okay. Well, I'll take yours into consideration, and then we'll see which one I send both of you in the group chat in a few days. Drive in parentheses off a cliff. I like that the most. Nope. Killer Kendall. Like no. Drive I, off I don't a like cliff. That. <laughs> That's rough, and it only reflects your view. Hmm. Oh. Future Chris will decide. <laughs> Doesn't matter. It <laughs> literally. Never mind. <laughs> Literally uh, me. Literally me. Are we done? I hope so. Genuinely. Hope uh, so. This movie sucked. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's 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 fun, but it sucked. You know, you had to wait through a lot of shit to get to the fun. It had its fun moments, though, for me. It was honestly, if I had to boil it down, it was be it was Gosling versus Evans. That was the it for me. Yeah. Their dynamic, Chris Evans as a fucking sociopathic villain, he was fun. Yeah. And refreshing to see him in a villain role after all that Captain America it's Refreshing shit. this movie was refreshing for you? No. Not what I said. No, you said you, you said, said the word refreshing. You said this movie was refreshing. I did say the word refreshing, yeah. Weird. About Chris Evans as a villain. Thank you for listening to There Are Too Many Movies. Five bucks a month on Patreon. I'd also want. like to thank you, but like more uh, like honestly than Chris. Okay. I'll a go. more earnest thank you for yeah, now. Okay, yeah. so I'll thank you, and then afterwards you can thank me. Yeah. And thank everyone. I'll thank everyone. Okay, so thank you for listening to There Are Too Many Movies. Yeah. Alex, you want to thank our viewers? Thank you for listening and watching. Thank you for taking my opinion on One Piece seriously. Uh, thank you for understanding that filler does not have to be watched. Later, Toads. B.